Good evening. Good evening. We finally got into our last class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Vicente. I Ruth. can't believe today is the last class. <laughs> today is well the, the, the last the last class for for intermediate uh, level of English because classes will continue, Brandy. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but you know, with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been it's been fantastic. Uh, it's been, how many uh, levels level have the intermediate? Mm -hmm. As far as I am concerned, they are like two, I think. So I think you are you are two or three. I'm I'm not sure exactly about how many they are. Okay. Uh huh. Then you will move on to an advanced level of English. How many levels did you did you go through in the in basic? Three. Okay, so in intermediate, maybe like three uh, levels also, right? And then advanced, and I don't know if you will continue um, studying, right? Later. Who said three? Who wasn't in, in... Vicente was in basic, I think. Uh -huh. I was in um, uh, intermediate from one, two, three level. Oh, really? In, I ba start I, in, in basic, Vicente, because this is intermediate. No, basic. I didn't, I didn't make the, the, the basic. I, I start with um, pre-intermediate. Oh, all right. Pre-intermediate, level one, level two, level three. In basic, I oh, know, but I, I don't know if they are like 12. Who 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 studied basic English over here? Me. I don't know. Who who ah Ruth, you did. Yeah. How many levels did you go through? Three. Ah, okay, so three. So in intermediate, I think it would be the same, right? Intermediate one, intermediate two, and intermediate mm -hmm. three. Three, I guess. It's, it's it sounds like very logic. Yeah. You know, it's because I'm a new teacher over here. That's why I, I'm I'm not sure about it. Okay, I'm new. I'm new in, in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm mm. new in the neighborhood. That's why I'm not sure about how many. I thought they were like three or four. Okay. Okay. And let me see. Twelve people, and it's getting better. I will say hello to everyone. Hello, Vicente. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Hello, Alejandro. Good evening, Christina. Good evening. Hey, <laughs> how are you today? I'm sick. You you continue <clears throat> oh my being sick. I'm so sorry, Christina. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> okay. We hope you get better as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Jessica. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Angel. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> I, I say Angel and, and you know, Brandy. Hey, what's going on with Angel? <laughs> this is my victim, she say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I say yes. I, I, he's my best friend. So everybody knows he's your best friend. Hello, Yesterday I say, angel is her angel. That's right. <laughs> Hello, Rafael. Rafael Ernesto, I think. Yes. What's going on with Rafael? Hey, you know and what happened to Daniel? Daniel, almost <laughs> always Daniel is on time, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, Maria. Maria Maybe Carmen. he's driving yet. Maybe he's Hello, to his home. Hello. He's on a motorcycle. Trying to get a bum. Yeah. He's I, riding. He's riding. Riding bum. a motorcycle. His motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> okay. I will miss you more. I will miss you more. Believe it. Gladys, Believe it if you say All something of wrong, All you of say, us. I will. 
you have, you have to say we. Oh, we. we. All of us. Oh, I don't know about all of all of us, but for me, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna miss you, also. Uh, thank you, you for know, your but, support, teacher. Hey, thank you for doing your best effort. Hey, hey, hey I mean, if I mean whoever you you study with, uh, try to do your best. So that's the way for you to get a, a good teacher. When you do your best, wow, well, the teacher. I mean, there is an explosion inside of a teacher, right? When you do your best, because. No matter if you do it 100% correctly, but we know that you are doing your best and that is the most important part of it, of the process. So yeah. piece of advice to continue doing the same way or better with the other teacher. Daniel. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Daniel finally got into the class. Hello, Daniel. God, Daniel is like, hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. I'm at hey, home. good evening, Daniel. What about at the Aguilas t shirts? Oh, do you like the t shirt Aguila? Really? <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> the Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah. You must change for other from Santa Ana. The Eagles no. and the Tigers Fun. and the Elephants. <laughs> tigers. <laughs> the tigers. <laughs> All right. Hey, yesterday you were working in groups, right? Mm -hmm. How was the experience? Somebody said, "Wow, well, this is the facilissimo." So somebody <laughs> said it, right? This is easy <laughs> so Who said it? <laughs> who invented that word? This is easy who, who? Ah, Vicente. <laughs> Vicente. <what>? Vicente. <laughs> you know, yesterday I I um shared a secret to to Daniel, right? Because I thought Daniel was a um a troublemaker when he was in at school, but it was not it was not Daniel, it was Vicente, you know. <laughs> was Vicente in it's inventing new vocabulary over here. So new vocabulary, right. <laughs> Vicente, who did you work with? Well I was working with um <laughs> I don't remember the name but um was working for a person. Daniel, and we, we, ah, okay, thank you very much. And we were trying to write the the dialogue. And you did almost, it, right? Almost finished, but some words we didn't understand. Well, let me see some of thing. Mm -hmm. So, but you invented some info, right? Um, in, no. Okay, I mean you invented right in order to in order to complete that that conversation. So um, I have I have Vicente because I took a picture yesterday night. I don't think that I'm, I I didn't think about what's what was coming for today. So Vicente worked with Alejandro, Pacheco, Sandra, Noemi, and Ana Ivania. Is that right? Um. <laughs> Ana Ivania, Sandra Noemi, Alejandro Pacheco, and Vicente. Okay. Okay, now tell me, uh, Vicente, who, who's, who's going to perform the conversation? Um, I don't know, maybe you select the victim. <laughs> uh, okay, Alejandro then, Vicente, Alejandro and Vicente. Okay, who start? You. Me? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna start. I and is he is uh, right now in, in the class or Alejandro, are you here? Yeah, Alejandro is here. I can ah, see okay. Alejandro connected. <laughs> the audio is no good. Ah, and also Alejandro Alejandro is in is because I'm, I'm working. Yeah, that's oh. right. I, I forgot you. I, I saw in the yeah. chat. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Vicente and Sandra Noemi, then. Okay. Is Sandra, Sandra here? Is... Give me one second. I can see. No, Sandra didn't. Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania is in the class. Okay. I'm here. Okay. So, 
Mr. Sanchez will, and Ana Ivanian. I will start. You start. Okay. Uh, 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 <clears throat> sorry, <throat> sorry. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, yo acabo de conectarme. Sí, sí. Me, me indica que estaban, que, en qué, qué es la actividad, por favor. Uh, well, We're going to repeat the dialogue. The dialogue that the, you got yesterday. We was writing uh, yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, sorry. Open your notebook and I will start. All right. After Ready? after after um, Vicente's uh, group, we're going to have Daniel's group. Okay. Ready. Ready. Uh, sorry, also, let second. me know if you are one ready. second. Okay, good, good. Well, next couple will be Rafael Ernesto Guzman and Cristina del Carmen. Yes, okay. correct. Okay. Okay, so that will be you will be the next couple. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, Vicente, I think uh, Ana Ivani is ready. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'm so excited. We had two weeks off. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, sorry. I'm not sure. I'll guess, um, uh, I'm guess I'll stay at home. Uh, maybe I'll he'll um uh, watching a, a few dvds mm -hmm. you asked the, the question the other what about you uh, what about oh, sorry what about what about you uh, any plans i'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks we are going to go surfing every day why come you down with us i love to um oh, oh sorry sorry we're going to do <laughs> surfing no 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 every sound, day. sound like yes sound okay. like fun mm -hmm. okay welcome you down with us i uh, i love to I lose, but I I bring my sur uh, my surfboard, my surfboard. Okay, making. Uh, I guess that's it. Sound like fun. Um, I confused in that in that part. <laughs> part of it. <laughs> I com I confused in that part. Actually, Sound like fun. Actually, Vicente, I, I, I can notice that you have uh, improved your pronunciation. I can, I, can, I can notice about it. So do me the favor to continue practicing vocabulary expressions in English, Vicente, because you are doing your, a great effort and I can see you, that you're improving. Okay? Do not stop okay. doing your best effort. And... Okay, uh, thank you very much, teacher. Okay, I appreciate th it. Thank you, uh, Ivania. That was fantastic, okay? Now, as you can see, you will have a homework. Ya no va a estar conmigo, pero igual le voy a dejar la tarea. Okay, good, okay. no problem. Al otro, profe, al otro profe le voy a decir que es la revisión. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, uh, you know, look at the chat, please. Miren al chat, por favor. Okay, Tienen, good. Quiero que, quiero que investiguen about present, present and past participle, present in past. Past participles is adjectives. All right? So that's it's, and past participles. Yeah, it's because I heard uh, uh, Vicente said exciting, right? I'm so exciting. exciting. So but what what is the best choice over here? They say I am loved or I am loving. I, me estoy saliendo un poco del tema, pero, pero es que esto es importante. I am loved. 
or I am loving. O sea, las dos están buenas, pero el significado okay. es diferente. Entonces, investiguenlo, por favor. Ok. Ok. Present past participle as adjectives. Thank you, Vicente. And okay. now I said, give me one second. I said Rafael, right? Rafael is in church. Now, and also Cristina. Okay. <clears throat> okay, no sé si sí, inicia usted, Rafael. Okay. Permítame, voy a. Next couple, Ceci, uh, no, Gladys and, <coughs> and Ruth for, will be the next couple, okay? Okay. On the start? Yeah, you can start now. I am so excited. We have two weeks off. What do you do going to do? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I guess just I will stay home. Maybe. Um, I watch a few DVDs. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to relax with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We are going to surfing every day. <clears throat> Sounds so fun. Hey, why you don't you come with us? Los <laughs> sounds like fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Say, why why are you come with us? I bring my I bring software. And do you Usted tiene que decir, do you mean that? I love to, I bring my software. <clears throat> do you mean it? I love to, I bring my software. Okay. <clears throat> it's old teacher. Exciting, right? Veo que esta pareja también dijo exciting. Excited. Exciting. Okay, exciting and excited. Okay. Excited. Yeah, okay. So look look for the info, excited. please. Yeah, excited or exciting. So I mean both are okay, but it all depends on what you want what you want to say. And since it was a dictation practice, so you should you should check it. Okay. You should check it. Check it. Sorry. Then we have Angel's group. We're going to have Cecilia's participation and Evelyn. Cecilia, is Cecilia here? Okay. Um, okay. I am a start. Yeah, you can start now. I'm so ex excited. We have to week off. What are you going to do, Angel? I'm, I'm oh. not sure. I will do, I will start home. Maybe i watching big DVD. DVD. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to surfing every day. So, so. Mm. <laughs> so like um, say we uh, don't you come with us okay perdimos bueno 
do you meet in love to I'll bring my surfboard? I think there there was a, a, a part in the listening that was kind of confusing because you say, why are you come? And that is not possible, right? It's because the person say, why don't, why don't you come? So it's present simple. Why don't you come with us? Why don't why person, you don't come with us? <clears throat> why don't you come why with you us? Don't. Yeah, but the person speaks why so fast that she said, you why don't you come with us? Why don't you come with us? Why don't you come with us? Okay. First is done. Done. And then you. Why don't you come with us? But the person why? speaks so fast, <clears throat> and that's why we tend to think that it's R, but it is not I. R. It is don't. Why don't you come with us? Okay. Why don't? Okay. Why don't you come with us? Okay. Don't. That was quite good. Hey, thank you for doing your best effort. Actually, it was Gladys' participation. I, I don't know, but I was just checking the cell phone and I got lost. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Gladys and Ruth. Yeah. But now yeah. you have the opportunity. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We lose in the same part of the dialogue, I guess. Hi, Ruth. I'm so excited. <laughs> we have two weeks off. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plan? Yeah, I'm going to go at the beach to relax with my cousin for a couple of weeks. And we are going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. He said, why don't you come with us? My dogs, <laughs> uh, do you mean it? I love to, I bring my software. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for my dogs. <laughs> hey, 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 congratulations. Nice. Because, be, congratulations because you included one Ooh, part in your conversation. Important. You wow. say, oh, wow, I will bring wow. my dogs with, with me. <laughs> okay, I, I, something like that, right? I could see Very that, nice. you include, that you include some extra information, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, really Con nice. Consentimiento. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so exciting. I, I, you say exciting or excited? Excited. Excited, excited. right? I'm so excited. I will take my dogs so with me, excited. okay? Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Okay, no, that, that was fantastic. Congratulations. Hey, you know what? I, I really loved the way you uh, performed the conversation because you also imitated the voice of American people, right? So that's that's better. Okay, so, well, I would really like to listen to everybody in the group, but you know, let's get down to business. We have a lot of work to do tonight. Uh, we need to go over the, the final test. How was the test, people? Very easy, very easy, facilísimo. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. So, so teacher. <laughs> so, was so. not that it was not that easy. It's easy. Mm. Not really. Okay, so listen, we're gonna go over it. So we will continue going uh, through uh, listening over here. We have been working in a listening uh, in the listening skill uh, a lot. But anyways, there is no other way to get ready with, I mean, when we listen to people, especially because when American people speak, they do it really fast and sometimes we tend to lose uh, the message. Especialmente porque los, las personas que son nacidas en Estados Unidos, ellos hablan súper rápido. Y vaya solo con el ejemplo de, why don't you, why don't you go with us? Solo con, what do you want with us? Ella lo dice súper rápido y, no, y nosotros pensamos que era R. Entonces, son, son cositas que si no nos mantenemos escuchando inglés, 
nos vamos a quedar perdidos cuando nos digan algo. Ok, here we go. Listen carefully. So we're going to go over it. I, I think you already finished this, right? We're going to listen to it. And then I will ask some people to provide further information about the listening. Here we go. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Now pay, pay, pay attention. No, I will try again. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. All right, how was it? How was the conversation? Easy. Very easy, all right. So tell me about Jean, but not only, don't tell me only about the answer, okay? Because I don't know, actually I don't remember, but I mean about which which of this is the, what, what is the answer, people? Jean the, likes the her, the through, it's, ah, uh, yeah, I got, I remember. It's one. cheaper than her old department. What else can you tell, what do you remember about the, the I mean, this truck? It's number one. Somebody says that's number one. Has the bedrooms. It's yeah. number one. It was two bedrooms. Okay, then you have two options, right? Then you have two options. You say that it's, it's because she likes her apartment because the, the, the apartment has two, two bathrooms or two bedrooms, or, I'm sorry. And it's also because it's cheaper than her old apartment. Two up. You have two options then. Well, I will leave it like that, and then you will clarify. You will see which is the answer, or if if if, if both answers are correct. What can you tell me about Seth? Seth wants to leave downtown because works there. He works there. there. Uh, he works there. He works there. He works there. Current apartment is is sorry. Too small. 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 Duh. What's going on with duh? Duh. 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 Duh.
dog wishes his new apartment where? On the, the first, first floor. floor. First floor. On the first Rice floor. On the first floor. On the first floor. Nice and bright. On the first floor. Uh, 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 listen to, uh, I think, who, who's, well, there is somebody in the group that's saying nice and bright. No, no, no. He wish this uh, apartment will be on the first floor. Oh, really? Okay, but actually, I, I can see that you are still wondering about the answer, right? So, if you say it's on the first floor or it's because it's nice and bright, it's because some people are, are doubting about it. So listen, we're gonna we're gonna get over it a second time and then we're gonna check the answers, okay? Okay. Oh my goodness. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. All right. So what's the answer, people? It's cheaper sure. than her old apartment. Than her own apartment. It's cheaper than her It's cheaper. That's cheaper you know. than... Why, why did you choose yeah. this one at the yeah. beginning? What did... What? She uh -huh. says the, it's the most important for her. But I think she says it has two bathrooms, right? Yeah. Not two bedrooms. Yeah. And also he says is um, no noise. Yeah. But and this is the, the opposite. Most important right? for her, the most important for her is cheaper than, than the other. Then her old one. Okay, let's go over the, the old... second one. I can finally start saving some money. Number two. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. Okay, number two, what's the answer? She works there. I think the, 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 the occupation is in downtown. His occupation is in downtown. Yes. She, and he, maybe he works there. I think he that works is, there. He works there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think okay. so. Okay. Let's go over the number three, people. Karen's apartment. Um, is... I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. What's going on with number three? It's too small. It's too small. 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 It's, it's too, too small. small. And the last one. Doug. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything.
All right, what's the answer? You done four? On the first floor. On the first, first, floor. Floor. On the first floor. On the first, first floor. floor. On the first, on the first floor. floor. All right. Hey, what's the meaning of the word cramped, people? What? Cramped. You know what? Of this word. I don't know. Okay, like go. Uh, um, narrow. Estrecho. Nah, yeah. Yeah. And also, also uncomfortable, uh -huh. uncomfortable, right? It's the opposite for comfortable. All right, correct. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we will check. We will check. Now, yes, right? So it's very, it was better the second time. So you got a 10 people over here. Now we're going to move on. To the next part, we're going to continue. So we have some vocabulary on here. Now, in English, people, how do you say? Danger. I, I love my neighborhood. It's very dangerous. Safe. 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 It's because, hey, listen. Safe. It, it's because if you say you love your neighborhood because it's dangerous, it's because you like <laughs> violence. <laughs> I thought you said that we have to read it. Yeah. No, I, I thought uh, you said we have to read it. <laughs> Where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I now. thought you said how Which to pronounce this name. Okay, okay, no, I, 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 maybe it was my fault. Okay, I'm so sorry. No, listen, I love my neighborhood. It's very dangerous, safe, or inconvenient. Safe, safe, safe. Very safe. That's why the person loves it, right? Of course. Now, now yes, Brandy, how do you read these three words? Dangerous. Dangerous. Safe, inconvenient. Safe and inconvenient. Good, thank you. Number two, I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit noisy, noisy. spacious, modern, or noisy. 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 Number three, it's to have parking spaces near my apartment. Comfortable, convenient, or dingy. Convenient. 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 What's dingy, Convenient. people? What's the meaning for the word dingy? Don't have place. Uh, there, there is no any place. Look for, mm -hmm. look, look for the meaning. It's like a dark. Dirty. Uh, dirty. Dirty. Dirty, right? It's... So the, the best option is convenient, right? Yes. It's convenient to have parking spaces near my apartment. Good. Number four, our house is modern and very bright. It has huge cramped or private windows. Huge. 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 Okay. Vocabulary, the first one was safe, second one, noisy, noisy. third one, convenient, convenient. before, huge. huge. Okay, simple yeah. like that. Huge. It's simple yeah. like that. Huge. Well, huge. actually, you already solved this part, right? You got a 10 in the test, but anyways, we need to go over it again so that we can reaffirm the information that you got. Now, remember that we were studying about, about this this expression right how to pronounce the word enough enough enough, enough. not enough enough not enough. Enough. Not, enough not enough okay and uh and and the and directions or instructions are like this complete the sentences yet not enough and the words and the words given is not enough enough or not enough okay not enough. Our apartment is too small. There are not, not enough, enough rooms. rooms. Not enough, not enough, enough rooms. rooms. 
<laughs> not rooms enough, not space enough, or not, not, not enough, enough room. room. Not, not enough, enough rooms. rooms. Okay, the third rooms. one then. Yeah. People can see into our house. There is? Not enough privacy. Not enough space. Not enough privacy. Not enough privacy. There is not, not enough, enough privacy. privacy. Not, not enough, enough privacy. privacy. Number three, my car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Okay. Enough. Enough. Yeah, Thanks. enough. Enough. So let's let's see. Wow, I can see that you've done a great job in the platform, people. Good. Not enough rooms. Not enough rooms. All right. And let me see. Okay, we leave that enough, enough. Okay, as many as or as much. Let's go over it. Multiple choice. Complete the synthesis, use us and us as many or as much in the words given. For example, my permit doesn't have as many windows as, as my old one. As, as many, many windows as my old one. Number two, our house is. It's as convenient as my as convenient apartment. As, as convenient as your apartment. Number two. The Number second two. one? Yeah, the second okay. one. Yeah. Number three, modern apartments often don't have as much as, as, much as, as, space as, as many, many space. As much space as older ones. As much space, because space is not countable. Uh, and that was it. Okay, as many windows as number one, number two, as convenient as good, number three, as much space as number four, good. Now I think this 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 was kind of difficult when we started the information in the class. Okay, like express expressing wishes. Okay, my parents won't buy me a car. And this is the wish, right? I wish they will buy me a car. Okay. Expressing wishes. I don't like my new job. I wish I wish it were fun. more fun. <laughs> I wish it were more it fun. It was more fun. It was more fun. It were more fun. First one. I can't find my new cell phone. I wish. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I wish I could find it. I couldn't find it. Could find it. That I could find it. I, the second one, right? I could find yeah. it. My boyfriend is in in good shape. I wish he were in good shape. He were in good shape. He were in good shape. I could find it. You were in good shape. It were more fun. Good. Now expressing wishes. Now let's go over simple past and, and present perfect. Over here, you are in charge of completing the conversation by using simple past or present perfect tense. And this was like the last topic we started, right? Okay. Now, have you ever Eating. 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 Spanish food. Eating. Okay. 
It's yes, I have. I went. Went. To a Spanish restaurant. I went. I went. I went to Spanish. <coughs> went. Do you eat? Like it? Like it? Like it? Like it? Did you first like one. it? The first one. First one. No, the first one. Like one. Like like it. Like it. Like it. Like you like it? This is because some people say light. I'm, I'm only no. uh, obeying what you're saying. So estoy obedeciendo. No, because like. when you use the auxiliary, you For have one. to use the uh, uh, like. Listen, listen to Brenda. Like. Okay. okay. Uh, Brenda is very boss, bossy, all right? Is it teacher, I told you number <laughs> one. <laughs> Who's Brenda? I don't, I don't know, beats me. Number four. Yes, it was awful. It was delicious or delicious only. It, it was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious, right? Wow, that, this was very easy, people. Easyissimo. Easyissimo. That right. <laughs> Any expression invented very by Vicente, right? Eaten. <laughs> when are we going it to went. have the exam, teacher? Huh? What about the exams? What about the exams? This one? No, I mean, like everyone will have exam or how, how we can have the notes? Well, you are, you are given the grade, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, I think you are given the grade. That's why I'm only, I'm only checking and having some review about what you have done. So far, I hope that you have already finished. Okay, that's why I'm, we are having some review. I mean, you, it, it is supposed you already we're finished. To, we're not going to have a real exam today. No, I mean, this, this is just for you to have a review about, because this was the, the final test. Yeah, right. That was yeah. the final test. This was the final test. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why In the I'm- platform. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm trying to have some review about what you did and clarify maybe some doubts because you are not able to see the answer, right? That's why I click in the um, in this in this uh, in this part so that you can you can see the answers, okay? Just in case you have uh, some questions about about the the exercise and not. Another topic that's coming is about future with will and Bitcoin too. We are almost done. You see? Yep. And uh, directions. Complete the conversations by using Bitcoin to or will. Okay. Number one, who wants to help me? Help me to, to read. Me to chat. Okay, Vicente. What? What are you going to do after class today? That's the answer. The second one is the answer. Thank the you. The answer. Yeah, right. Number two. Thank you, Vicente. Really? Okay. okay so if you want to continue, go ahead. I don't know if you want. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. I'm going to watch a movie with a friend. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, First one. Funny, I guess. yeah, but by why going to and not will? Um, because he was because he said definitely. It's because yes. of the expression definitely, right? So I that guess. we are we are sure to do. Yeah, uh, the person is sure that's going to happen the following day. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, when their vacation. When are you going to take their vacation? Are are going to take? Are they going to take the third one? But the third. Vacation? When are they going to take their vacation? All right, number four. I think. I think, I think, think they, they will go, will go on, a on a cruise on June or July. July. On a cruise. On June or uh, July, Chris, Chris, on, in June or July. Okay. We go. We go. 
Oh. Uh, it's a second one. They go. Second one, Ria, right? They because they are thinking. Yeah, because they are th they are not sure, right? Okay, the first one was a fixed plan. Second one was uh, be going to again. Third one was about be going to. And the last one is about will. This was the only one for that future. And in order to finish, because you know, we're, we only, we are missing only 10 minutes. There's a reading comprehension over here. I don't know if you could, if you could read it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, we're gonna see what's going on with it. Okay, I think it's a letter, right? It's a letter. So let me see. I will ask somebody else to read. Hey, Brandy, 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 please. Do me a favor to read the info. All the info? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, till over here, till this part. Okay, okay, great. Hey, Paula, ready for Bangkok. Fernando and I, uh, I can't see the last part. Can you move to the, your, not to the left part? Okay. Ready for background, Bangkok. Fernando and I having a really good time. It's, I wish I can read the last one. It's a great time. It's, uh, it, it's, it, a, it's a good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yesterday, we went to a huge weekend market. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes. And the prices are great. Things, things uh, here are not nearly as expensive as they are not home. Of course, Fernando tells me, I am spending too much money, but you know him? He never buys anything. He never buy anything. Can I continue? No, no it's all right. Uh, Ready. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, uh, Gladys, please, could you, con could you please continue with the next part? Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever eaten Thai food? It's delicious. We just had a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river. Fernando ordered green curry and rice. And I have my favorite dish, micro, crispy noodle with trim and chicken. For dessert, we have fresh bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. Thank you. And the last participant for reading the information is Maria del Carmen. One thing I noticed is that some restaurants make the curry less spicy for foreigners. For foreigners. Yesterday I told our waiter this curry isn't enough, isn't hard enough for us, he smiled and said, some foreign don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry, hat, curry that was much hotter. Time to stop, we're flying home tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. Quite awesome. good, thank you very much. So I think, oh, sorry. Okay, so tell me, Bangkok is a good place for shopping. Is that true or false? True. 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 You can buy most true. things except clothes in the market. False. 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 The prices in the market are very reasonable. True. 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 Me, me, Rob, is a Thai name for green curry. False. False. Oh. And the last one, all for oh. foreign visitors love Thailand's hot and spicy food. False. Oh. 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 Yeah, spicy food. Oh. Oh. Spicy. Two, false. Two, false. False. Okay, so that 
How you pronounce spicy or spicy? No, spicy. 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 Okay, listen, help me to check the list of tenders and where we're gonna try to close with the with the with the with the class, okay? As I will stop sharing this part because this almost time. Yeah, we're almost done with it. Okay, this is the last time I will check the list of tendons for the intermediate uh, level one. So I hope everybody is here. Well, I, I have Anna Ivania. Present teacher. Anna Jansi. Angel. Present teacher. Brandy. I'm present. Cecilia. Present. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Elena. Elena Noemi is absent. Is she absent? Evelyn. Present teacher. Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Gladys Mavi. Present teacher. Iris Concepción. Present teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Present teacher. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Oh, Kevin Alexander. María del Carmen. <coughs> Sir. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, here, teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Eh, Sandra Noemi. Sandra. Vicente. Here, teacher. And Janira Elizabeth. I am here. Oh, you are there. Good. Now we are done with all related to this level of English. Now, what can I say about you? That you are awesome. That you, I mean, since the very beginning I got into this group, I, I, I could notice that this was going to be an amazing experience. And, and actually that is what has happened. Okay, I really love the way you participate in the class. Uh, I highly recommend you to, do, to continue doing so because when you interact with the, with the teacher, the way you do it, when you interact or interact with the person or with the teacher that you are, that you are having classes, uh, the way you do it, that's, I mean, you create something in the group. There is there is something special over here. It's because no matter if you commit mistakes, people are, uh, I mean, people do not mock at you, you know, people are there supporting your ideas, your effort and not criticizing what you are doing. I mean, I feel 100% uh, comfortable with this group and I hope you, you have, had the same experience, okay? Well, okay, thank you very much for your support and for you, patient. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, it, it was really fun to be with you. I mean, I really enjoyed the time here. And well, uh, some recommendations for you. Continue doing your best. No se queden solo con we las clases. Try. No se queden solo con las clases. Por, por lo menos ahora intenté de alguna manera eh, mostrarles que siempre hay algo, hay algo que en la clase no está establecido, pero que nosotros lo podemos in este, investigar. Por ejemplo, ahora tienen la tarea de, de, de investigar acerca del, de los par participios en presente y en pasado. Porque no es lo mismo decir, I am loving, than I am loved. Loving quiere decir que yo soy amoroso. 
En loved, I'm loved, es que yo soy amado. Por eso es que, por eso es que me dio un poco de, 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 de gracia cuando, cuando eh, Vicente dijo, I'm exciting. Porque exciting quiere decir que él, que él eh, eh, es diferente a I'm excited. ¿Ok? Algo lo de, ajá. Ok, so ex, exciting, exciting. Exci por lo menos... Si yo ocupo loved, eh, love or loving, loving quiere decir que yo, es que ese es el, el ejemplo más claro, loving. Cuando, es, cuando usted dice I'm loving, es porque usted este, ama a los demás, o sea, usted es amoroso con los demás. Pero si uh -huh. dice I'm loved, I am loved, quiere decir que las personas lo aman a usted. Ok, so you can be loving okay. and loved. Puede ser am amoroso y amado también, o sea, lo que les quiero decir es que no hay error en, la, en las oraciones, sino que hay significados diferentes y hay que estar claro en eso. La forma como se dice. Ajá, porque uno es in, en ING y el otro es en ED. ED. Ajá, y son formas verbales, no son verbos, son adjetivos en ese caso. Ok. So, well, uh, okay. I think the class is over and, you know, I have never said this. Uh, be, uh, uh, in the past, but I will I will tell you. So, no hay otra no hay otra expresión más grande ni más bonita que decirles Dios les bendiga. See you the next time. God bless. You. Amen. A usted también. It was Thank a pleasure. Bye. Bless. Thank you, teacher. teacher. Bye. Bye. You are a great Bye. teacher. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.